Hey everybody, it is 4.30 Central, 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, and today we are here to do an interview. Um, my name is Tisha Lady. Some of you know me, some of you don't. Some of you follow me, some of you will follow me now. So today we're doing a live interview, and I thought it'd be a good idea to interview somebody who I have known for a very long time. Um, somebody who I met when they first got into the business, they first became a home-based travel agent, Somebody who honestly, we met on um, a chance meeting, just asking a question. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to save some information so I can tell you when he gets here. But make sure that you're checking in. Let me know where you're checking in from, city, state. If you're not in the United States, let me know. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do this interview. And I thought it would be good to let people know that, to let people know that you could be in this industry and actually you know, have real success by just being a travel agent. You know, a lot of people believe that in order to be um, part of this organization, you have to, um, sorry, I was making sure the invite went through. You have to be, you have to actually like, you know, recruit a team, but I wanted to share a success, a success story. Now this gentleman has had a lot of success. Um, I'm waiting for him to actually come in now. I resent the invite. You know how Facebook is, did the interview earlier, things went wonker. So hopefully, um, Hopefully he got the invite and he can get in with no problems. But uh, basically it's, 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 we like to say it's just travel, but it's actually a lot more than just actually, um, than actually just travel. There's a lot of things that we are learning. There's a lot of things that we are um, talking about. There's a lot of places we have gone. Um, make sure you're checking in because I know right now it's not showing any comments and I want to make sure that the comments is actually working. You know, Facebook does weird things sometimes. So we're just waiting for him to come in. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to tell you who he is while we wait. As you saw in the post, his name is Mr. Um, Ryan Taylor. He is out of Waldorf, Maryland. Um, I sent him the invite. You know, just got to make sure he actually get it. And he is somebody that, oh, wait, wait, he says hi. So let's see if I can bring him in. Add to the camera. Hello? I cannot I tell you folks, <laughs> Because I sound like I'm underwater. <laughs> ability to bring people in and Facebook took it away to do whatever it is they wanted to do with it and now that they brought it back you know it's a little wonkers but yeah so I met him actually he's coming back in right now um, but I met him, um, at a meeting and it was something I didn't ask a question and then we ended up talking for about two hours about travel missed the entire yeah. meeting Sorry, me yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so uh, he was in Malaysia. He was in the Philippines. He was in the Ministry of Administration. He was in the Ministry of Administration. And as I told you earlier, he's been doing travels for three years. He's been very successful. And he was actually my very first live interview that I actually did. We sat, we did it outside of one of the hotel meetings in the heat with the bug. We told the story. So now I wanted to bring it back because he's had some amazing accomplishments while uh, being in this industry. So I'm going to make sure. Can you hear me? I can barely hear you. You're starting to sound a little warbled, but I mean, if you want, we can go right through it. Um, you know, I'm a trooper. We'll we'll figure out a way to make it happen. Yeah, I can hear my echo on your side when I talk. 
Oh boy. <laughs> oh goodness. Technology can't live with it, can't live without it. Okay. I mean, you, you truly you truly can't because nowadays when it comes to travel, everything is technically based. Everything's technology. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, there used to be a time where people were sitting in offices, they were writing out the airline tickets, and they were doing all of the travel. Now everything I need to do, I can do from my phone, I can do from my tablet. I can, you know, basically call in, book a whole group of rooms, and I don't even have to do but press a whole bunch of buttons. But when you're trying to do something live on Facebook, that's when things start to go crazy. <laughs> Well, you know what? I, first thing I want to do is, for those of you who don't know your story, we're just going to start from way back in the beginning. And let me just ask you, basically, what got you interested in wanting to own a home travel agency? That's a good question. So a part of me saw the income opportunity to become a home-based travel agent right away, right? Like, mm -hmm. I got to, I have to give you your props because when I first started, I thought that all I was going to have was just a website and I was going to have something that I could direct to people and I can say, yeah, if you book this hotel, I might get a, a commission off of it and that was it. But it's so much more. It evolved into so much more. That's when I started meeting other people that were selling travel, much like yourself, on a whole different level, which is where I wanted to be. So I decided to throw myself in you know, three, almost four years ago, full force. And I wanted to learn all that I could about the industry so that I could help people make those amazing vacations and generate a second source of income. So I really loved all that I've learned about it. And I've always been energized by learning something new. So now the big question is, you know, this is something that everybody always wants to know. Why are you still here? What's kept you working it? What has me working it is the fact that I've been able to pour into other people what I've learned to help make that transition from becoming a consumer straight into a entrepreneur a little bit easier when it comes to becoming a travel advisor. I remember that the conversation you were talking about, we were out there for two hours straight, didn't go into the meeting. I said, I'm going to find this person named Tisha Lottie. I'm going to find her and I'm going to get my questions answered. And it was history after that. So the education that I've got is why I'm still here. But I also know that as I get better with my education, so do my abilities to book travel and make those ex exquisite experiences for my clients that are all looking for that amazing trip, especially in all of the circumstances that we have. Everyone wants to go somewhere. And so I feel that with everything that I've learned, I can make this a very profitable um, business for me. Well, you know what? I've seen what you've done, and I know you're making it profitable. But, you know, we're going to talk about now, like, everything that's been going on over the past four years. You know, we've dealt with life issues. We've dealt with one of the issues. We've dealt with work issues. You know, you're working in a full-time job, and there's recently COVID. How have you handled the If there is that. Okay, so two words, time management. I mean, that has been, that has been my, my ministry for ever since I got started, honestly, because I was trying to figure out, I was like, look, I need to figure out how I'm going to balance my education, how I'm going to balance connecting with my clients. At the end of the day, um, I am fortunate because my, my full-time uh, my full-time job, they allow me to work my job with integrity and still have the flexibility so that I can go and actually learn about the ships that I go on or learn about the resorts. And I get to have that ability to, you know, I'll relay that onto my clients. But in this whole business venture in itself, I've just re learned how important it is to have a set schedule that you can work on. So you can work on those many facets and the importance of learning how to delegate because a lot of times we have to think that we're doing this all by ourselves. Sometimes we have to be able to give the ability to let other people shine and take on certain tasks so that we're not going to feel ourselves overwhelmed. So time management really is the name and the, is the winner of this story because it, it brought me from zero to ten. Let me tell you, it was something. It was just everything. Well, what I hear is besides time management, which I think is important in every aspect of everybody's life, is that you had some personal development that happened during your journey from three or four years ago to now. So what are some skills that you have learned that you didn't even have? So a lot of the skills that I had to learn um, or that, that I've developed is my attention to detail. 
because we're working in a business where things are changing all the time and that can and that attention to detail is what sets apart the travel advisors from the travel amateurs and then the second part to that is the ability to communicate effectively with your clients a lot of times our clients will look at a package or will look at a particular type of vacation and they will think that what they're getting is what they expect in their mind travel advisors bridge the gap between what they expect and what they actually obtain so we can communicate to them and we can say you know what that package looks great but for my recommendation that's not what i would want you to have because i know what your definition is of clean i know what your definition is of luxury those are the key facets being able to communicate that is worth its weight in gold and i have received a lot of accolades from my clients because of the fact that i've developed those skills i could not be at this point without them well, you know what? That's awesome. That's something that, you know, I just did a, um, a post about people not wanting to use travel agents. And you basically did exactly what I was saying. The fact that people say that they can book their own trips and that's great. But when you work with a travel advisor, you get the skill set that he just mentioned. You know, most of the time we'll say, oh, yeah, this picture will be clean. And then you show up and you're like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not clean, really. But we, we get to learn the things of what our clients want. So, right. now I'm, I'm going to let you toot your horn a little bit. I know this might be a little bit long for you, but what are some of the biggest accomplishments you've had since being in this business? Wow. Um, I, <laughs> of most recently, I can say that I was awarded the top role model agent under 40 in 2019 for our host agency, right? I'm one of the youngest of leaders in within the organization, and I'm submitting a lot of great material towards our agents. Not only that, you know, I've received recognition from some of the industry sellers, people that I have not met on a personal level that will come up to me and they've said, oh, you're Ryan. Yeah, you, you know what? We've heard nothing but good things about you. And I'm like, oh, thanks, you know? And it's, it, you know, it's really being able to connect with those industry leaders, being able to be invited to those VIP events, those pinnacle events for the top agents. And for me to be able to do it after such a, you know, after such a small period of time is truly amazing. It's a blessing because that's when you get to really rub elbows and really have those conversations with those industry leaders, those managers, those people that help make those vacations possible. So I, I mean, I've been very fortunate with my earnings. I've been very fortunate with my accolades and with the awards that I've received. Well, you said that magic word that everybody wants to hear about, earnings. So without telling us any numbers, because, you know, we don't want nobody knocking on your door messaging you for a loan, but the interest you have received over the past four years, was it what you expected or was it bigger? It was bigger. If I'm going to be 100% honest, I... Listen, when I started, I thought that I was going to probably make $500 if I got lucky, right? I put in a small investment. I'm going to get maybe a little bit on my return because I know myself, I know my work ethic. But when I became educated and I started putting my, my mind to work and I started putting pen to paper, I said, oh, we can make so much more than this, right? I started telling everybody about my uh about my being a travel advisor and guess what they came talking to me well we want to book this we want to do this i was able to do so many things that i wasn't thinking i was going to be able to do booking groups for people that wanted to go to disney booking groups for people that want to go to jamaica that want to go on cruises and i've been able to enjoy the success and the earnings i'm saying <laughs> from looking at those from being able to put myself in that position okay so I definitely made a whole lot more <laughs> than I thought. I'm just, I'm going to let y'all know. It's not, a, it's not a game. It is not a game. Now, I got two part question for you. I want to know where is the best place or the best trip that you have taken? Where is the best place that you have sent your clients? Okay, so the best place that I have gone on myself was a cruise and of course i cruise. love cruises i i love cruises i i i went Just on so i know, went on my on first cruise. cruise i've been on ryan has been on that same ship somewhere <laughs> i i follow her along by my coattails but i'm telling you like i i went on my first ship inspection in 2018 and 
I'm thinking to myself, oh, you know, what could it be about? I was floored away. And when I started sharing it with my friends, this was the cruise that I was the happiest about because that was my time to, for me to reconnect with my high school friends, right? The people that I didn't really connect with 10 years ago. Now, all of a sudden, we're talking about taking vacations and trips together every year thereafter. Oh, where are we doing next? Are we doing this? Are we doing that? And we're still talking about what we want to do next year, what we want to do in 2022, all of the options. But I really enjoyed it because there's nothing like being on that salt or enjoying that salt air, being on your balcony, sipping your drink, being able to go from deck to deck to deck, exploring everything that the ship has to offer. I, you know, my sign is water. I'm a Scorpio. So it makes sense <laughs> that a cruise was my favorite. Now, the one that I am jealous of that I sent my clients to was actually a trip where they went to Thailand, they went to Singapore, and they went to one other country, Bali. Okay. So I sent them on a, on a, uh, on a, basically a, a, a long haul tour and they were there for a full week. I was so jealous. I wish I could have gone. And it was just amazing to see their pictures. They were on the little gondolas. They were enjoying the spa. They were just eating everything that they could in sight. And they had a blast, okay? Oh, I cannot wait for my for it when it's my turn to do that. But it really does give you a swell of pride when you go in and you have to create a package from scratch based off of what you know based off an individual and you have to say this is my recommendation this is the proposal you need to put in and everything was taken care of from a to z and they were thrilled about their you know about their accommodations they were thrilled about the choice of those vendors everything to them was perfection that that sounds like a jelly trip um, that is definitely a trip that I want to do. I might need more than seven days. Might be like 15. Um, but yeah. So when you start planning again, give me a call. Give me a call. You got so, it. You got it. More questions, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. But the next one is basically, why do you think that this opportunity is great for people to look into? Because, you know, a lot of people look at travel right now, especially with COVID and everything. And they don't believe in the power of owning, not just a travel agency, but a home agency. What are some of the things that you can empower people who are looking to start? Business. So when it comes to starting your home-based business, there are so many ways that people will help to support you to get you started on the right foot. You know, we're with a company right now that is always consistently revamping the way that they train and educate new agents, and they are adaptive to the times. That means that you're behind the right kind of company that is committed to your success. So for me, when I know that when I started, I was excited for going to one of our major events that gives us our first certification. I was walking on top of my car, but the education was a big aspect for me. The ease of access, the self-empowerment, those were all reasons for why I decided to get in. And those are all reasons why you want to consider yourself. This company empowers you to get yourself on the right foot, that success is attainable for anybody willing to try. I know that the circumstances right now are really tough. And believe me, as an advisor, I am rather than telling people that they need to go, I am telling people to wait. I'm telling to people the right advice that they need to hear based off of not just what the countries are doing, but what the suppliers are saying, what advantage points they're taking. Because the reality is, is that when travel returns in full force, there will be such an overwhelming desire. There's no reason for you not to take advantage of it. And right now, while you have the downtime to learn, to train, to study, to fortify yourself, this is a great opportunity for you to take your investment, invest in your education so that you can become a resource to other people. And when you become that resource to other people, people will start knocking on your door. People are texting me. They're saying, oh, my goodness, Ryan, I want to travel so bad. And I'm telling them what's happening in all these countries. But all of that just comes from doing that due homework, that due diligence. That is one of the reasons why I would want you to get invested, okay, into one of these types of opportunities. Well, you know what? That that was amazing. And the last question is for anybody right now who's watching now or later who is already an agent, what are some of the two words of advice that you would give them as you close out? So one of the things that I would say as you close out is to never give up. And whatever you do, invest. If When you think that you invest 100, go ahead and invest 125 more. 
because the thing is is that when you put more energy into this uh into this business it that energy is going to return back to you a hundredfold and you want to be ready to handle it okay and the idea is is that it can be overwhelming it can be tr it can be a little um rough right now but make sure that you stay focus on the goal set that objective early on and start taking the action steps necessary to reach it that that is just like absolute like fire like i just see like people just clapping behind the screens they're so excited right now but you know i want to thank you for taking the time out because i know you have to work with you guys so you have to look into the team that you have to jump in but i definitely want to showcase you because i have a lot of growth um maybe i should book a cruise so yeah i got like four cruises and both of the cruises and what are we going on and i'm like uh okay all of us like you can do it all <laughs> you know and it was really great to see him on that stage to get the same award that i had two years ago and now we're basically working with each other helping each other i want you to understand though it's not a competition you know what i mean he has to i have my goals my goals all in the world of success but I wanted to focus and showcase that I don't know if he's probably you can still win. And this is a gentleman who is winning at all school. He is a beauty. And when you say that he wants his steps, we sit down because he keeps going. Because we get tired. He's like, I we was like, but it's been 10 minutes. Ryan, how'd you? But yeah, he's very dedicated. So, you know. Definitely wanted to showcase some of our building and our um, our leaders that's coming up in the travel. I'm gonna go ahead and in here. Have a, a great evening, everybody. And definitely, if this is something that you're looking forward to doing, looking that you're interested in, definitely send me a message. If you are agent and want to have, if you have any travel-based questions, you can contact me or Ryan because we're both leaders inside of the industry. And I thank you for being here tonight. I'm gonna um, talk to you in a few days. Bye.